Welcome to chapter 4 in series 3, and in this video I'll just go over what chapter 4 is about, and it's the item system that we'll be making. There's quite a few scripts. Uh, a lot of the work is to do with these three events, which are centered around uh, being able to throw objects and being able to pick up uh, objects. Uh, so those, when you do those actions, so then there's quite a few other things that you may need to do as well when you pick up an object, so that's what all these scripts are about. And by the end of this uh, chapter, you'll have a pretty robust item system. Your inventory will be working nicely. You'll be able to select items. You'll be able to pick up any items that you define as ones that you can throw. You can pick them up, and then you can throw them, and your inventory will just update automatically. And uh, this, uh, you can see the scripts that will, the external scripts that are involved, such as the player master script, and the player detect item. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish that script off. We'll actually uh, check for item pickup attempt. We'll actually run a bit of code. There's a bit of code that we had uh, commented out. So we'll also uncomment that. And um, well, it'll be all working very nicely. So this is, in fact, a very powerful item system, if you think about it because you can have any kind of item in the player's inventory and you can just create more scripts for that item's unique behavior. So for example, if it was some sort of uh, med kit or food or something like that, you could make other scripts that will then affect the events on the player for, you know, changing the health or whatever other parameters that you might make. So you could have any item uh, defined however you want. Uh, in such a way and it'll just work in your inventory and you can pick it up and you can throw it and so on. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching and just move on onwards so that we can start writing uh, the scripts.